Hi guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and we're back with another episode of Money Moves JA brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service. Today we're talking about video content creation specifically for social media. I'm joined again by Dana Wallace. She's CEO of Dana Wallace International, a digital marketing and film production company. Welcome back, Dana. Thank you. Hi, Kalila. So this one can be tricky mm -hmm. especially when you're a business and you're trying to create content for social media it can come across as boring or it can come across as too pushy uh, what are the key things that you try to do when you're creating this type of content let me start with the one about too pushy i think that's where we probably end up leaning into the era a little bit more when we talk about marketing we always try to make sure that we're talking about our product or product or product or product and if we really think about how we use social media and how the average user is using social media we're there to get some sort of value we are there to get information that interests us so we mm -hmm. actually want to find things that are going to give us more information or entertain us so when we create content as brands and as companies what we want to do is that we want to focus on content that leans into that we want to lean into content that's going to be information that they need so if you think about your product or service I would say start with what's missing what is the information that your audience needs the most right now that you can provide for them and then on the side of boring i would say start with planning and keep it simple um, start with baby steps and train yourself around the content creation side of things and research go and look at other brands who do similar things and see what the content that they're doing looks like and see how you can be inspired to do things a little bit differently so it's not just all about the hard sell when you're doing social media? It's absolutely not about the hard sell. If we think about it, so I'll use the example of my mom and looking at advertising online and promotion online. So typically traditional media that has lended into our behavior on social media as marketers is that we look at talking about the product and using advertising online and even using video advertising. But think about the fact that right now we're in the generation and the time where we are more focused on consuming content without ads. Mm -hmm. So even my mom who is in her 70s, sorry mom, uh, she's in her 70s and she's asking me, Dana, tell me, how do I get rid of the ads? <laughs> so, you know, it goes, it goes across generation now. The younger generation is expecting not to have ads. Mm -hmm. She grew up using the ads and doesn't want them anymore so we now have to focus on what is the content that is causing them to not want the ads and mimic that more so if we have to lend into where our behavior is now it's absolutely not about being promotional but focusing on how do we binge that's my new favorite mm -hmm. word because that's our behavior Netflix and chill um, we want to consume content in copious, copious amounts um, and one tip here it's more long-form content Traditionally, social is said to be short form. We see, we're seeing a greater mix of both short form and long form, but focused on value, information, entertainment. Boy, so this is a big challenge. It has been a big disruptor in the industry. The way that social media has taken off, people relying less on traditional media. So how do you get your brand out there without ads? per se, because some people, some companies, what they want to do is just take the ad and put it on their Instagram. Mm -hmm. So here's what I, I would say, start with storytelling. How can you tell a story? Mm -hmm. How can you tell, a, whatever your product is, how can you find one story to tell and tell that story? So let's say, for example, I'll use another basic example. Let's talk about retailers. How can you tell a story about that dress? What if it's a video that's talking about a girl, a very short video, it doesn't even have to be long to start basic. And think about the places as women we feel happiest and most content in that dress that we're going into the store to pick out. And just tell a story about a girl in a dress. It could be showing the story of her putting on her dress, the story of how she feels in that dress, the story of where she goes in the dress, and the story of how she ends up closing out her night with that dress. So tell a story with your, with your brand, with your product. And if you start with that, I think that will lean you in the right direction. Rather than content. just, here's my dress, buy it. Yeah. 
tell a story. Interesting. Wow, this is a conversation that I think we're going to continue having <laughs> off camera. But thanks for joining us, Dana. Good tips as, as Thank usual. Thank you for having me. Dana Wallace is CEO of Dana Wallace International. You can find her where? At DanaWallace.com. You can find me on the interwebs Dana Wallace Biz or Dana Nicole. Awesome stuff. Well, that's it for this episode of Money Moves JA, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service. Check out their website, EximBankJA.com. I'm Kalila Reynolds. See you next week.